I wanted to share a shortcut that doesn't have a default setting in the new Premiere Pro 2015 CC when you're using Lumetri Color. And what it is basically is, well, what if you want to see what it looks like, you know, when you didn't have the grade on there yet, right? So what I did was, and here's I'm going to show you when you highlight over here in Illumetri Color, all I have to do is, is press my shortcut key and it turns it on and off. So here's the ungraded A7R2 footage and here it is with a grade on it. And it is great because it really just quickly allows me to do that. So I picked F 19 because it's right in the top corner of my Mac keyboard and it made it super easy. So here's how you do it. It's so easy. It's crazy. <laughs> crazy easy. So you go into your keyboard shortcuts and then basically you type in bypass Lumetri, which you don't even have to go. I only put by in there and it popped up. And there it is. And then you just basically assign the shortcut key that you want. Um, I chose Again, F19 because nothing was assigned to it, and it's easy for, for me to remember because it's right up on top there. So you just hit OK, and it works great. So now when you're scrubbing through, you know, you can, but you have to have the Lumetri, you know, selected off on the right here in color, and then it will do it, you see. Isn't that cool? So hopefully this little tip will uh, make your grading experience a little better, a little quicker. It's nice to be able to go through your clips and see what they look like. I'm enjoying the A7R2 footage a lot. It has a, a nice color to it. I think Sony might have some new mojo going on here, which is very cool. So uh, this one, you know, like I really like a lot. Um, that's just with a quick little LUT. Um, but that's how flat it is. You can see the screen is way up there. I tried doing a more like one or two, two and a half stops over because that tends to work better uh, when you're shooting flat like this. But, you know, I think because I can get my ISO levels lower to uh, in the A7R2 uh, than the A7S, I might not have to do that. So I'm going to try not doing this and treat it more and maybe one stop over and, uh, and see how it goes. Because this is all 800 ISO. I just went with that for a base. But anyway, a little shortcut for previewing and bypassing your Lumetri Color settings in Premiere Pro CC 2015.